Good morning. Today I'm going to talk to you about strength. This is Samson, and here he is fighting a lion. The Bible says that he fought it and that he killed it with his bare hands. Here is Samson fighting and killing 30 men. He owed a bill of 30 sets of clothes, but he was mad about the way that bill came about. So he paid his bill by killing 30 other men and stripping them of their clothing. Here he is after he caught 300 foxes. He used those foxes to burn down the crops of his enemies. Here he is holding a jawbone, the jawbone of a donkey. Soon after killing those 30 men for their clothes, he was attacked by a big crowd. He fought and killed 1,000 of them just using the jawbone of a donkey. Here he is carrying city gates on his back. He broke them down with his bare hands and he carried them all the way to the top of a hill. And here Samson is breaking through leather straps or ropes even though he was tied up tightly by leather straps and then later with brand new ropes, he broke through them as easily as, as you could break through a strip of paper. Now, do you remember what I said I was going to talk about today? That's right, strength. How many of you think of Samson as being strong? It seems like it, doesn't it? But do you know why he's fighting this lion? He is on his way to see a woman who could have led him away from God. That's not very strong, is it? Also, Samson was never supposed to go near anything that was dead. Later on, when he was going to marry that woman, he stopped to look around inside the skeleton of this lion that he'd killed. God told him to do one thing. Samson did something else. That's not very strong, is it? And here, when he killed 30 men to pay a bill, well, the reason he had to pay that bill is because he was being reckless and foolish. Being foolish and disobeying God is not very strong. When he caught 300 foxes, he was doing it just to take revenge. God tells us not to take revenge. Samson wasn't very strong when it came to obeying God. The time that he fought and killed a thousand men with that jawbone, well, that too was because he had been surrounded by men, angry about the 30 sets of clothing and angry about the fields burned by the 300 foxes. <clears throat> and I know it seems pretty strong to break down and carry gates, but he shouldn't have been stuck inside that city. He had spent the night in that city with a woman who was not his wife. Samson was weak. Samson disobeyed God. Breaking those leather straps and then the new ropes was really a show of weakness, not strength. He was telling this woman how God made him so strong in the first place. That was something he was not supposed to do. By, by goofing around like this with God's gifts, Samson showed that he wasn't strong. He was weak. In fact, Samson was so weak that he was captured. Rather than kill him, they gouged his eyes out and they put him in prison. And he was too weak to stop them. Samson, he killed lions. He killed whole squads of soldiers. He broke down city gates. But Samson is certainly not the world's strongest man. I'm weak, because I sin even more than Samson did. God tells me not to do something, but, but I do it anyway. God tells me to trust in him, and I doubt. Samson and I might be the world's weakest men. Well, do you know who is strong? Someone who faced something stronger and deadlier than a lion someone who carried something much, much heavier on his back than 
city gates. Someone who faced the worst death of all and didn't run away. Well, that's Jesus. He was so strong that he killed death. He was so strong that he stood up to the devil and he beat him with his bare hands. Jesus is so strong that he carried the sins of the whole world on his back and he took them away forever. Samson? Samson wasn't all that strong. But God is. In the time when we see Samson acting the strongest was one of the only times that we see him obeying God. Here, when he destroyed the Philistine temple, Samson was obeying God. Samson sinned a lot. Samson was a weak sinner. Well, thank God that Samson and you and I have a strong Savior, Jesus. He is strong enough to carry our sins away. He is strong enough to fight the devil and win. He is stronger than death. Thank you.